Today we are diving into the time capsule and taking a closer look at a device that was once a powerhouse in the smartphone world, the Samsung Galaxy Note 4. Now you might be wondering, in 2024, is it still worth using? So let's find out. Released back in 2014, the Samsung Galaxy Note 4 was revolutionary for its time with its large 5.7 inch display, S Pen functionality and powerful specifications, it was a game changer in the smartphone market. Fast forward to 2024 and the smartphone landscape has evolved significantly. We are surrounded by sleek futuristic devices with advanced features but does the Samsung Galaxy Note 4 still hold its ground? Let's start with the design. The Note 4's metal frame and removable back cover still give it a premium feel even by today's standards. Sure, it may not have the bezel-less display of newer phones, but there is something timeless about its design. Now coming to the performance part, Note 4 isn't going to compete with today's flagship device, but if you think about 10 years old device, this device is still capable and although it got 3 gig of ram and 32 gig of internal storage but as a secondary device it is pretty much usable it can do web browsing social media even lightweight gaming without any kind of issue so still it is a capable device one area where the note 4 shines is its camera equipped with a 16 megapixel rear camera and ois it's capable of capturing some impressive shot even by today's standards the camera is still usable and it got tons of features and also you can shoot 4k videos with it even the front facing camera also can shoot 1440p video it's amazing for a 3.2 megapixel front facing camera apart from the display and camera i do really need to talk about few features of this device so this device got a fingerprint scanner and the fingerprint scanner here is terrible i will say it is pretty similar to the Samsung Galaxy S5 fingerprint scanner and it always miss the fingerprint as you can see. You have to do it pretty slowly and most of the time it cannot unlock as you can see here. It takes a long time and if you are buying one of these devices, don't think that it got a fingerprint scanner. Just think that there is no fingerprint scanner on this device. And another thing of this device is that it got a heart rate sensor and SpO2 sensor. So you can measure your heart rate and your blood oxygen level using this sensor. These are not really accurate but they are pretty much accurate. So you can rely on this actually but not much. And also another notable feature of this device is that it also got a, as you can see, IR blaster. So if you buy one of these devices, still you can use it as a remote control. So that is also an option. And another thing of this device actually is that the 3.5 earphone jack does deliver really good audio so it is pretty much a very good device to consume music and also watch video the display here is pretty pretty bright actually it goes in the daylight time or in the bright times you will not have any issue i, I would say it's still pretty much very usable display as you can see here it works perfectly fine of course we can't talk about note series without mentioning the span this stylus isn't just a gimmick, it is a tool for productivity and creativity from drawing, sketching and like writing down your notes. The S Pen adds a whole new dimension to the smartphone experience. Now one potential drawback of using the Note 4 in 2024 is its software. It originally shipped with Android KitKat and received updates up to Marshmallow. While it may not be running the latest version of Android, you can still find custom ROMs and mods to breathe new life into the device. And I'm going to make a full tutorial of installing custom ROM on Samsung Note 4 in future videos. So keep eye on my channel. So is the Samsung Galaxy Note 4 still worth using 2024? Absolutely yes. While it may not have all the bells and whistles of modern smartphone, its solid build quality, capable performance and versatile features make it a compelling choice for anyone looking for a reliable secondary device without breaking their bank. So that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more content. 
and as always thank you for watching and i will see you next time